Uh, check, 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 check. All right, we are in this piece. Let everybody get in here for a hot second. Let me get everybody in here for a hot second. Oh, looks like CD wants to be a part of the stream. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to send a tweet. But I'm trying to send a tweet. I'm trying to tell people that we're alive. And you're all in the business. He doesn't he thinks he's still tiny. He thinks he's still tiny. Hold on, excuse me. I can't type with you on my arm. Hey, 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 hey. Tweet out. We live. We mock drafting. All right. That's that. Hey, people are in here. What up, everybody? What up, everybody? I haven't made your Sunday better yet, guys. Might screw up the mocks. It's plugged in. Yes, guys. It's plugged in. I hate you all. It's it's also a crappy laptop, but I'm doing a cash out refinance to get a pool, so I don't think I can get a new laptop right now. Um, yes, maybe my next dog will be named Pitts. Otis, I appreciate you, brother. Super chat. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Yeah, that scout cast was good. Foots and Botch and Skywalker. Those are my guys. All right, here's what I'm thinking. If you don't know, by the way, uh, Jaron Reed is off the market. Looks like he's going to Tennessee. I'm sorry, Kansas City, idiot. He's going to Kansas City. Xavier Woods is going to Minnesota. And so we're rocking and rolling. But as the Cowboys, our roster, kind of ready to draft. You may not love it, but you're kind of ready to draft. I need a corner somewhere. But KZ is a starting free safety. Wilson is a starting strong safety. Keanu Neal is in the mix with strong safety and linebacker with Jalen Vander Esch. J. Ron Curse is also in that hybrid mix. So those spots you can play on Sunday. With Brent Urban available to play the one technique with Antoine Woods, Tristan Hill and Neville Gallimore, and uh, Watkins now available at three technique. Basham added to Tank and Gregory and Anai and Armstrong. We can draft. And we are not forced to do anything. But I think what I want to do tonight. Besides Pitts, are there any players that would prevent you from trading back in the draft? Um, Maybe Rashawn Slater, Panay Sewell. All right, so what I think I want to do tonight, human beings, is I think I want to try a draft where an offensive player is too good to pass up at 10, but then I also try to come back into the first round to go get me a corner, okay? All right, Nicholas. Jeff, thanks for all the content. It's so much. I'm not caught up with the thing you and Vach collaborating. I'm sorry for too much content. I've had a full day today. Formula, you're my dude. I love you. KJ Wright coming to Dallas, Newsom at 10. Uh, I wouldn't do Newsom at 10, but Newsom's a guy I'm going to keep in mind to try to come up into the teens or 20s if I need to come get a corner. And KJ Wright coming to Dallas, I would not be surprised at all if KJ Wright came to Dallas. Then you'd have a lot of bodies at linebacker, and you'd be good to go. All right, so I'm going to try a couple different things. Try a couple different things. I'm going to start this draft. Let's see what sort of connection we're going to get today on my crappy laptop. Oh, well, come on. Come on. What's the Taco Charlton screw-up possibility this year? Um, well, the big screw-up would be like Gregory Rousseau or Quiddy Pay at 10. That would be the big-time screw-up. Uh, but something where I would just be like, ah, it's not for me, would be like uh, uh, Parsons. All right, trade down, trade offer. Jaron Reed is gone, Nighthawk. He gone. He's going to Kansas City. Chicago, 1356. Eh, tempting. Patriots to 15. You guys know I love that 
moving to 15. It's my favorite one. I want to go to 15. All right, we'll just keep that in mind. They're offering one, four, seven, and a future five. That's the Patriots. But I also have Patrick Sertan on the board, but I also have J.C. Horn. Do you want to play the game and see if one of them makes it? Or do you just pick one of them? Because in this case, I'm assuming Kyle Pitts is gone. Yeah, I go to four. So here, there really aren't a lot of considerations for me. You would be considering Sertan, Horn. You could consider Devontae Smith. But all the offensive guys that would make me consider doing offense are gone. So in this one, I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to not miss. And I... You could go Horn, but again, I'm going to be very safe here. I'm taking Patrick Sertan. We're going to take Sertan. Okay, so we're doing corner at 10. And the next one, if the dang see, we would have lost Sertan and Horn if we went to 15. Probably. Steven, super chat. Appreciate you, Steven. You're a monster. Thank you, Steven Phelps. Thank you, Nathan Neal, for the super chat. Take Pitts at 10, then trade both third rounders to draft another cornerback at 60. After at 44, math works. All right, I could entertain that. I could entertain that. Oh, Ruben with the super chat. Finally get to watch you live, brother, because I work overnight as a truck driver. But I think we should pick a DB. Well, we did. I took care of you, Ruben. I took care of you, brother. Um, well, Korg, I'm just doing different things here, okay? We're just looking at different things. Uh, okay. Now, to get to 25, well, Jacksonville, I need to see if there's something I want at 25. They want my two, three, six, seven, or two comp three, six, and seven. Let's see. Hold on. Let me pause the draft. How do I pause it? I need to pause it. Pause the draft. Whew. Oh, well, now they picked. Jerks. What would I be going up for? Newsome, if you wanted another corner. Nick Bolton. Their simulator's going to let me get Richie Grant, isn't it? They don't like Richie Grant, do they? 66. All right. Yeah, their simulator's going to let me get Richie Grant, but that's, that might be cheating. But what are you going to do? We already took our corner, so we're not going to trade up. We're not desperate for a defensive player. We're just going to let this roll. We're just going to let it roll. the chances they take Pitts if he's there at 10? Hopefully good. Boop, 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 boop. Barmore at 32. There goes Newsom. See, that's the range we might have to move back to if we go offense in the first round. Farley at 34. So they have updated Farley with the back surgeries. That's good. We're not going up. We're going to see if Richie Grant makes it to us. Calling me. I'm not trading my pick. I'm picking Richie Grant. Mofos. Farley is gone, David. He gone. All right. We're just going to pick Richie Grant. Um, I'll look at what else is available. Tony's good. Elijah Moore's good. Osai would be in consideration here. Oh, Leatherwood would definitely be in consideration here. Davis and Cox, a couple good linebackers. Asante Samuel would be in consideration. But we are taking our free safety because KZ is on a one-year deal. Bloop! We're going Richie Grant. So this is just going to be the run-of-the-mill, standard rock-and-roll mock draft. And now next, I wanted to see if I could take Kyle Pitts, but I don't think their machine is going to let me. I think he's going to be gone. But... I can go to a different simulator and see what happens there. Uh, Gabriel, Nick Bolton is now officially 5'11 and unathletic, so could he drop to 60? Yeah, he could. If he did, I'd want him. 
We'll do either Pro Football Focus or Pro Football Network next. Uh, let me see here. No, let me, everybody leave me alone. Isaiah Super Chat. Do you believe it's possible for Dallas to have a successful draft without selecting a DB with their t two top 50 picks? If so, who are the DBs in day three? Maybe, but the problem with that is it just would be my own overconfidence in identifying good players. Um, likely, you're going to want to use one of your first two picks on a DB, I would imagine. All right, we're at 75. We're at 75. Oh, look at it. Jabril Cox in the building. You got a lot of linebackers, but you don't have anybody long term. Um, you know who I think could really help this team here? If he makes it to 99, it'd be a dream come true. It would be Peyton Turner, Houston. Super long, doesn't stay blocked. Nathan, PFF hasn't updated the draft order yet. Really? If I haven't updated the draft order, I can't be using them. Uh, formula, my guy. What if Dallas drafted Boogie and had both Bashams? <laughs> That'd be great. KZ drastically helps DBs. Well, he drastically helps because before you didn't have a free safety. Now you do. I mean, he's going to be less than a year off of an Achilles coming into the year, but we'll see. Um, Kelvin Joseph could easily make 44 because there's going to be teams that are worried about him. Because both his last two coaching staffs didn't like him. Um, 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 Jabril Cox or Peyton Turner. I have them both as second round guys. Oh yeah, Pitts is a way better prospect than O.J. Howard was. O.J. Howard was a fast guy that could catch. And he was a decent blocker. And I liked him. But Pitts is a whole different animal. Pitts is a freak show. Jackson Carmen. I have him as a third round. So here we're going to be picking either Basham, Cox, or Peyton Turner. At edge right now, I really don't like what I have between behind Gregory and Tank. Hmm. Dallas with the super chat. What are the chances we take Horn at 10? I think there's a chance. I think they would, my guess is they would take Sertan over him. Um, um, we'll take the linebacker. We'll take Jabril Cox. How about that? You going to be okay with that, guys? I'm only going four rounds because I don't want to go seven rounds. That would be a beating. Oh, I do have Basham ahead of Peyton Turner. You're right about that. I probably should have taken Basham. Whatever. Oh, Basham went right before. Oh, no, he went right after me. I have not looked at the Fresno State offensive tackle yet. Y'all leave me alone. I don't want to trade with you fools. Oh, Dawson and Debo is still available. Nine picks away. Dude, if I can get a Debo... Just make it to 99 at Debo. Oh! 93 is gone. Oh! And one of my nose tackles, Tui Pulotu, went. Those are a couple guys I would have liked to have. Um, All the times you're getting, Jerry, are uh, handheld from Pro Days. So when they say Sertan ran a 4-4-2 or a 4-4-4, add .06 and assume he's a 4-4-9 guy. 4-5. And then J.C. Horn, 4-3-9. Assume he's a 4-4-5 guy. And that's fine. It's fine for both of them. All right. Man, that sucks. I lost a Debo and Tui Pulotu right before me. Any possibility Dallas trades? Renee, appreciate you on the super chat, brother. Yes, Vance, I'm still in love with Hardarius Washington. Any possibility Dallas trades down to get J.O.K. to revamp linebacker? I would love that. J.O.K. is a stud. Oh, our day is watching down. Uh, can I interest you in Tyler Shelvin? Can I interest you in a 340-pound? Oh, Ellen McNeil's here. Oh, that's easy. 
That's easy. If McNeil doesn't make it, and if that's cheating, just pretend I took Tyler Shelvin. And I would take our Darius Washington there. I should have just taken our Darius Washington. Let me get an Owa Owa. Owa, what does that even mean? Oh, our Darius Washington's gone. No, I don't want to trade with any of you. I just want to make my pick, please. So this is what we have so far. Patrick Sertan, Richie Grant, Jabril Cox, Ellen McNeil. I don't think McNeil's going to make 99 in this D-tackle class. Oh, Jim, are you talking about Odigizua? It's not a bad little D-tackle, especially for 280 pounds. Leave me alone. Oh, you let Marvin Wilson get here. I'm picking Marvin Wilson. I almost don't care who else is available. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm picking Marvin Wilson. The end. Where'd he go? Where'd my Marvin Wilson go? Am I drunk? There he is. Eee. We did it. We won the draft. <laughs> Oh, I know, Venom. The Ravens, I swear, they just sit right where they are, and they get all the players I want. <laughs> I hate it. Chris Sims ranking Tyson Campbell as the number two. I would assume that's cornerback. I do too, Jerry. I do too, Jerry. I appreciate the super chat, and I appreciate your concern. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's get this thing going. And then I'll go over to Pro Football Network, and I'll see if I can get... I'll see if I can get Kyle Pitts at 10. Let's see what it looks like if we trade up. Although that won't be apples to apples, because it's two different simulators, but whatever. Oh, this will work. I'm taking Chauncey Golston. Chauncey Golston is just a rock-solid dude. Like, he's not a great athlete, but he's a big, strong dude that plays hard as hell and is a nice run player. He's going to play in the league for a decade. All right, we're done. We are finalizing our mock draft. User picks. Um, okay, let's go try Pro Football Network, and let's see what happens. See if I can get Kyle Pitts, and then see if I can trade up and get us a corner, and see what we like better. Am I covering the mic? What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Check, check. Check, 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 check. No! I'm back. Okay. No hair tie tonight. Nope. Um, okay. PFM Mock Draft Simulator. Four rounds. Fast. Samuel in the super chat. How would Wright fit in with our linebacker core? Well, I mean, he's an old, wily veteran. So if he's, I would imagine he'd be a depth guy. But if it meant that you were sending one of your guys to the bench because he was better, then so be it. I like competition. Let's draft. <clears throat> mm 
do, 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 do. The Mac Jones love is because Gregory Rousseau at three. What in the hell is happening? Um, the Mac Jones love is because Zach Wilson at nine. Okay. What are we doing, Dalton? Fix your simulator, bro. Hey, I did not ask you for these ads. Get out of my face. Um, Pittsburgh wants to trade. Everybody wants to trade. Everybody get out of here. Because we are doing an experiment here. And the experiment is we are picking Kyle Pitts. Now, the goal is going to be pausing. 15 are gone. Horn is gone. Sertan is not gone. So Sertan is likely going to be the next corner off the board. And after that, I would imagine it'll be Newsom. So now we're playing a cat and mouse game. How many guys have you watched so far? Um, I don't know. 150. I need to keep on it. I'm behind. There goes Sertan. Barmore, Tarasov, Colin. Stop. Okay, there goes Farley. Stop. All right. We're going to try to go up to 25 for Greg Newsom. Okay? Now then, 25, according to the charty chart, is 720... 45 and 75 is not quite enough, but we'll try. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call, which means it's Amanda, because she's the only person that calls me. What are you doing? I'm streaming. What? I'm streaming. Streaming what? I'm doing a mock draft. I took Kyle Pitts. And now we need to trade back up so we can go get a quick. Wait, is it Kyle Pitts where? The 10. He's not going to be there at 10. You don't know that. I, I do. You don't know that. You also know that. You don't know that. There's not a way that Kyle Pitts is there at 10. All right, now, number 28 is worth 6 Funniest thing points. I have ever heard this whole week. And I've heard <laughs> funny things. Oh, they declined. Oh, stop! Just because the trade gets declined doesn't mean the simulator can start going again. I'm trying to go. But over Kyle Pitts. I'm trying to go get my corner. What? Who took what over Kyle Pitts? Oh, you don't want to know. That was funny. What? You don't want to know. It was funny. Are people. Who are you? Are you drafting with other people? Ah, it wouldn't let me. I'm going to yell at these people for not letting their simulator let me make more offers. Are you drafting with other people? No, I'm drafting by myself. All right, I couldn't go. Would it. you like to explain who went above Kyle Pitts? No, you don't want to hear it. I do. No, because it wasn't realistic. Huh? It wasn't realistic. Which was what? Gregory Rousseau went third. <laughs> You're right, I didn't want to hear. <laughs> well, you know, imaginations are good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go Richie Grant in the second, and we're still on the prowl for a corner. So let me see. Oh, okay, Stokes or Joseph. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to let one of them go, and when one of them goes, okay, I need to jump for the other. I need to get to 56 from 75. I haven't done that math. Let's just wing it. What are the chances the Cowboys are going to take someone like Tucker Charlton again? Don't say that. That's insane. Ah. Ah, they're not molding. I really got to talk to these people about their simulator. I'm genuinely, <laughs> you know. If somebody per d turns down your trade, it just fires the simulator back off. Like, no, I clearly want to keep trying. You are honestly funny. Do you want to call me back? <laughs>
Yep. Love you. Love you, bye. Okay. Take cornerback at 44 and trade both third runners for 60. The Bengals don't have a Cuda. He's a lion. Um, thank you for the super chat, Nathan. You the best. Okay. What's 60 worth? 60 is worth 300. 75 is worth 215. And 99. Ooh, I'd have to give him 99. No, 99 is an overpay. How about this? Yeah! Let's go! Boss man fat! Let's go! I got your corner. Oh yeah, Tommy, Amanda is in the sports biz now. She's on CBS Sports HQ and she is killing the game. No, everybody leave me alone. Alright, now. I gotta see if I can remember... How to Okay, how do I uh, is this how I do it? There we go. We've taken Pitts, Richie Grant, and Kelvin Joseph. Now to me, that is a dream come F and true. Now if you want to, we could double dip at corner because Kelvin Joseph's a little bit of a wild card. And I could take a Debo. Right the hell now. Ooh, I like Peyton Turner. I like Tui Pulotu as a nose tackle. Um, go edge or D tackle here. I can go edge or D tackle. I have Turner graded higher. So we're going to take a D end that can also play some D tackle. We're going to let this thing run through. We're going to reject anything. And now we're going to say, all right, remind me what I've done. Corner safety, tight end edge. Close. Show me my DTs. Oh, Dickie Zoo was nuts. He's only, oh, I'll take Marvin Wilson all day. Don't stop putting Marvin Wilson in my face or I'm taking Marvin Wilson. So I didn't get to pull off my trade up where I wanted to to go get like Newsom, but I did pull off a trade up to get a corner, and and that is what it looks like if I try to get Kyle Pitts. That's that. Oh, the Mac Jones left. Um. Um, boo, 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 boo. what are Kelvin Joseph's issues? Well, Kelvin Joseph's issues are he was at LSU first and the coaching staff was really happy to uh, have him leave. And then at Kentucky, when he opted out of the final game of the season, the coaching staff was very happy that he opted out of the final game of the season. I don't care that he's into music. I mean, he is super into music and he might like music more than football. And will people care about that? Sure. But whatever. Um... What were you saying about Osa? Oh, on Osa. He's 280 pounds, but he's also like a kick-ass wrestler. So he's a... So he's a good... He's a good nose tackle. Even though he's 280 pounds, so it's very strange. Very, very strange. Very, very strange. Very, very strange. Boss Man Fat. I'm going to go listen to some Boss Man Fat. You guys have a great night. Oh, hold on. We got Samuel with the Super Chat. If by some miracle, Pitts makes it to 10 and the Cowboys pass him up. I'm done with them boys. <laughs> all right. I appreciate all you guys who swung through. I appreciate my Super Chat. -ers. I appreciate anybody who hits the thumbs up button. I appreciate anybody who subscribed and has notifications turned on. You guys make this fun. It's fun.
How far will far away fall? Um, I would guess out of the first round, but who knows? You never know. NFL teams, doctors are going to tell him, oh, he's fine, but I would be terrified. Sertan did not have Kyle Pitts on lock. No one's ever had Kyle Pitts on lock. All right, peace out, guys. I love you. You're the best.